guys welcome back to bougie doll life my name is katrina and today we're going to be making some mugs and on top of us making mugs we're going to make boho theme mugs with really cool designs so i got these scrapbook paper six by sixes from amazon i will link it in the description box down below i absolutely love the designs of each one of these scrapbook papers so i was like i really want to make mugs out of them for my dolls because the mugs that i made before they're okay but you know i want something new and more my style and also we have another pr project coming up this week that is really big and it does incorporate these type of patterns so let's go ahead and get started so first i drew the lines on the back of each one so i pretty much measured it down to be about two centimeters and this is six inches across because each paper is six inches so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut out the two strips of each design that i picked out guys so now i got all my strips cut out so you guys are probably wondering what this is on the side right here these are our handles so to make our handles you're going to use a q-tip and then you're going to wet it once you wet it you're just going to go ahead and bend it at the middle to make a curve for a handle and then once you have the curve right here you're going to take a rubber band i have a pack of rubber bands right here you're going to take one rubber band and then you're going to wrap it around the q-tip and then that's gonna make the bend for our handle for our mug. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side. I already have these drying, so we're gonna use these right here. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and form the cups. Form the shape of the mugs. I'm gonna be using this school washable glue to glue it together. I'm gonna flip one of them over, and this is the side we're going to glue on. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down at least like a little bit like this much down from the strip and i'm going to put the glue on straight down because this is a side that's not going to be showing so it's okay to cover it completely with glue all right so the reason why we need this part without glue because this part is going to be the part that we're going to have showing in the cup so what i do i take it around my finger and I make sure it's even and I just wrap the paper around until I form a cylinder shape for the cup. So I'm just going to go ahead and sit that down. Now we have our cups right here. So what are we going to do next? We're going to glue it to the base of the cups. So for the base of the cups, I cut a strip of this wood grain paper because I want them all to have the same bottom even though they have different decorations on the top. So I do like this wood grain on the bottom. I think it gives it a boho look. So I'm going to flip it on the opposite side and then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and glue around the rim right here. All right, and then once you do that, you're just gonna go ahead and glue it right on the paper, just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and glue all of them straight across in a line. Okay, so now that we have all our cups glued in, I'm going to fill every other one with hot glue, like as if the cup is full. So that's the reason for me doing that is because I want some empty cups and then I want some cups with drinks in it. So when I do reels, it will give the illusion as if my doll had an empty cup and then her cup is filled with something. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill every single other one with hot glue. I'm just gonna fill it until I feel like it's full enough to the top. This is dry, I turn all of them to the side, having the line part face me this way. And then I take one of the Q-tips and then I just cut where the rubber band is. And it already formed a shape for the mug to make the handle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue it onto the mug like that. Mm -hmm. 
So I have all the mug handles glued to the mugs. I'm gonna try to lift it up in the camera. So this is all of them with the handles glued on. I think it looks super cute. Love that. So next, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry a little bit more. And then once it's dry, we can go ahead and decorate our drink. So for the drinks, I'm going to make one of them a matcha drink. I'm gonna make another one a tea, and I'm going to make the last one a kind of like a frappuccino with like whipped cream so for the whipped cream i'm gonna take my air dry clay and i'm gonna just take a little tiny piece out and roll it into a ball and just go ahead and roll out a string shape i'm probably not going to use all this but you rather have more than less and pretty much I'm going to form a whipped cream shape. You want the whipped cream to sit on top of the cup, but you don't want it to be bigger than the cup because you want to still be able to see the coffee. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep twirling it so I get more towards the center. Okay, just break off the top and just mold it into shape. All right, so now we have a little tiny whipped cream. So I'm going to go ahead and let that sit. I'm going to snip it at the top just to give it like that whipped cream effect. So I'm going to snip it right here at the top and mold it a little bit. Okay, so now it's like a peak. See how I made that peak for the whipped cream? Looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. So I'm going to set it to the side. So next, we're going to make a heart out of hot glue. And for, we're going to make the heart to go on top of the matcha. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to go ahead and pipe out a circle, like start with a circle and then pull back. So it's like a teardrop like that. Then I'm going to go on the opposite side, pipe out a circle and pull back. And then you have a heart right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. And then for the tea part, we're gonna be using some of these fruits right here. Guys, so the top of my drinks are dry enough to where I can paint it. So for the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it with a kind of like a coffee color. So I'm gonna take this brown with a little bit of this white, mix it together, and then paint in the middle like that. It's okay if it gets on a cup because you want it to look like a beverage. Once this one is semi-dry, I take a toothpick and pick up the leaf, and I'm just gonna place it where I want it inside the tea. And then I'm going to take the fruit that I have here and just place it in there as I see fit to where it looks really cute. Everything is dry. I'm just gonna take my Mod Podge. This is the Mod Podge that is shiny. So just know that this is how you can get a shiny finish on your mug and your handle, it'll seal it. So I'm just gonna open up my Mod Podge and dip my brush into it and pretty much just paint around all of the mugs and then on the top of the mugs that have a drink inside. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. And then once this is dry, then we'll show the final product of our drinks. So this is the final results of my mugs. These are the three that i had empty with nothing in it and then these are my decorative ones i have a lemonade right here and then i have this fruit tea right here and then this right here is my matcha drink and then this one right here is kind of like a chai latte or any type of coffee latte and then this has a bloom tea with like a flower inside which i really do like in real life because that's one of my favorite teas so this is how everything came out and i absolutely love it don't forget to like comment share and subscribe let me know if you guys try this method for teacups for your dollhouse and i'll see you guys in my next video bye